So welcome to the second workout of Team New Balance Manchester. We're going to show you five more exercises that you can do in your house with household weights and you can have a go at this at home. So up first is the goblet squat. Yep's going to demonstrate the goblet squat. You can do this with body weight, no weight at all. You, we have plates so you can pick up some plates. If you have a dumbbell, you can use a dumbbell. If you don't have any of that, you can simply fill up a large water bottle, bottle or carton of milk and give that a lash as well. So to start the goblet squat, stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. You can have your toes pointing slightly outwards. This helps a little bit with the movement. Here, Yip has her heels slightly elevated using a mat because as runners, sometimes we don't have fantastic range of movement in her ankles. So this just means Yip can get a little bit more range. So as Yip squats down, she uses the weight as a counterbalance. So she's gonna go up and down, keeping her chest up, and squat and down nicely. So if you turn around sideways yet, you can see that she's sitting down. So I'd recommend doing three sets of 10 to 12 of these, and then we'll show you the next exercise. Our second exercise that we're gonna show you is a single, single leg RDL or a standing stork. So with this one, you can again use a weight or you can use it body weight. Yep's going to use the dumbbell, but you can use whatever you have at home. So she's going to stand on one leg. And she's going to stand on one leg. Tilt down so that she's tilting at her hip. Coming back up and whenever she comes back up, she's going to raise the weight above her head. So this is really good exercise. You have to maintain your balance. It really works the glute muscles. You're aiming to keep your hips nice and even, your back nice and straight as you come down and have a really controlled movement up and down. So up next, we're gonna show you a simple sit up into overhead press. Again, you can do this body weight or you can do it with a weighted bottle or an actual dumbbell if you have that. So myself and Yip are going to, to go down through it. So you start off in the sit up position you're gonna lower yourself down as slowly and as controlled as you can. And then come up nice and sharp into an overhead press. So up next, we're gonna do some more exercises for the core. We're gonna show you a Russian twist. So for this again, you can do a body weight and touch the ground with your hands, or you can use a weight. We're gonna use the weights again. Here, if you had a plate, you could hold the plate in this position, but sometimes it's easier to have something smaller. So for this, you're gonna get into like a semi-press up position and lift your legs up to this little deep sit. And then you're gonna twist. So you're gonna twist one way and then the other, touching the weight off the ground. So up next, is every middle to long distance runner's favorite exercise, the press up. Me and Yip are gonna to try to do two. No. Um, so we're gonna show you how to do a press up into a side plank. Um, to be honest, we're not gonna be able to do that many, but it's a good exercise to try. Helps with the upper body strength and that little bit of movement coming into rotation and then holding your side plank. So get into the sit up position. We're gonna, sorry, the press up position. We're gonna press up and into your side plank. Really controlling that movement, keeping yourself nice and steady. Hold for five to 10 seconds. Then we're gonna come back, press up, and into the side plank on the other side. And repeat. <laughs> 